What's up guys, Steven Tequila here bringing another reaction. Now, two things. One, I might seem a little out of it because I am sick as a dog. Well, not really a dog. I kind of woke up with a fever, or not fever, a headache, runny nose kind of thing the other day. And one of the reasons why I really haven't been um, posting much. Two, I've been having a lot of work at my part-time job. Three, school is a bitch. Finals are coming up, so there's going to be probably, uh, quite a bit of lacking in videos. So weekends, I'm going to try to get videos up even though... Wait, is to, today's Saturday? Yeah, today's Saturday. So I already kind of failed. Uh, got called in uh, on a day I wasn't supposed to work. I was going to try to get two videos up. Don't know if I will. Uh, definitely not on Saturday, but tomorrow, aka Sunday, hopefully, while you're watching this, I have this video going up with maybe one other, uh, another Dragon Ball Z related video, and, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, we're watching the Z Warriors versus DC, um, uh, Justice League, and, uh, I got my tissue here just in case I need to blow my nose or anything, and I apologize ahead of time for this reaction. But this is a reaction I had to do. Um, I did record uh, some other stuff. Um, not Cartoon Fight Club, but um, a couple other things a few days ago. Should have uh, re uh, edited them and posted while I was not feeling that great. So uh, I'll get it to the other four fights that I haven't seen. I actually have already watched two of the uh, four fights. Uh, the... Um, Shantae versus Shovel Knight. I've seen that one. Um, and the um, Hulk Hogan versus Hulk fight. I have seen that one. The other two fights I have yet to watch. So I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Uh, I'll probably do a double feature kind of thing. That's what I did with the last two. And um, yeah. So as you guys already know, I'm a DBZ fan. And if you guys aren't aware of that, you probably knew that my channel and uh, yeah just an exi wrong arm I always forget which arm it is on soon that will be not possible because I will be adding on Shenron right here um, sometime near the end of summer probably um, but yeah I'm a DBZ fan not this Shenron well this this is Shenron but I'm actually gonna get a green Shenron and everything Add all maybe some more of uh, uh, more of the Dragon Balls and stuff like that. I don't know yet. Uh, it is a thought in process. Uh, so without any more delay, let's get into this fight by Animation Rewind. This is a ginormous Total War, and I'm hyped as fuck for this fight. I am uh, very hyped, uh, and I am on the side of the DBZ Warriors, full on. The only Justice League characters I'm worried about is. Um, Superman, definitely a hard hitter, but still beatable. Uh, Martian Manhunter, still beatable, but a hard hitter. And The Flash, those are the only three. I don't know what uh, other Justice League are going to be part of this fight, but we are going to find out in this uh, animation by Animation Rewind. Link in the description for the original video, and my dog is walking around making noise. <laughs> So, without any more delay, let's get into this fight and enjoy this fight right now. Boom. 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 Doom. Oh, wow. I'm off my game right now. Do, 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 do. Wow. My nose. It's all because it's like one side's clog kind of feeling. Ugh. I hate this feeling. Like I said, I apologize ahead of uh, time if I have to blow my nose, What's up, which is everyone? probably right now. Welcome to the 164th episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, uh. Animation Rewind, and if you're new to this series, be sure to check out the old. I was content. worse yesterday, though. Know how the game is played. <laughs> da, 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 da. For the fight. Oh, by the way, guys. Was animated by DZ Browder. He worked oh, nice. Super hard on this, so if you do enjoy it. Please head on over to his channel and Dude, subscribe. Dude, that's of awesome. War, that's right. We have the Z Fighters versus the Justice League. So before lay down. we introduce them, let's do a quick roll call of each team. Oh, that's you, For Angel. the Justice League, we have the likes of Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, The Flash, Wonder Woman, 
Martian Manhunter and your mystery fighter, Cyborg. And for ah, Cyborg's fighters, in the spy, nice. The of Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Krillin, Piccolo, Trunks, and oh, Yoshi I saw that pickle form. God of Destruction, Beerus. Since the DCU, oh, fuck. we can't just fuse incarnations together, so we're specifically going to stick with the new 52 timeline going up against the Dragon Ball Super Z Fighters. And now okay, so is specific timeline, new 52 timeline. Tonight we have a very special guest, the most notorious YouTube ranter on the internet. The man who claims to be the least biased researcher oh God, of go. all time. <laughs> The Gohan, man, uh, Team Gohan man, Fighter. The meme, formerly known as FTJ, Gohan6425, most notoriously known <laughs> as Team Gohan Fighter, I give you the one Oh my god, it's still funny how you guys sometimes... Ultimate Goku. Indeed, Animation Rewind. I mean, let's face it, Animation Rewind. I am the one who came up with this co-hosting concept idea about a year ago. <laughs> so it's only fitting... That I co-host with you. I am, after all, the least biased researcher on the YouTube. <laughs> so I like that. Like me or hate me, you, the fans of Cartoon Fight Club, you're just going to have to deal with me. I have no issues with him. Maybe I don't know why you guys keep putting me and him to fight each other if in fan art. The SS Ultimate Goku is here to help make sure that the greatest and least biased research gets implemented into such an important episode like this. Well, enough about me. We don't have the time to discuss how amazing my amazing ideas are. Let's get down <laughs> to business and get the people what they want. I agree. With that being said, let's introduce oh, yeah. Fight Club's 164th round With Beerus, no fighting. doubt in my mind. DBC all the way, motherfucker. Planet Krypton, kal -El was adopted by Martha and Jonathan Kent of Smallville. He soon discovered his abilities are powered by yellow and blue stars. His abilities include extremely powerful super strength, massively faster than light speed, flight, x-ray vision, super hearing, and heat vision. His weaknesses include kryptonite and magic. Superman is generally a boring character, as we pretty much all know this, <laughs> who sucks and is not infinite. Not only does he suck, but we can <laughs> that he does have limitations. Whoever claimed that Superman is infinite, not naming shows, needs to get Screw their tech? brain cells Death metal? And we all know who I'm talking about. Not naming anyone, but we <laughs> Don't worry, I did it for you. Who is dumb for thinking Superman is limitless? Okay, whoa, 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 I need to break the fourth wall for just a quick second here. Please understand that the SS Ultimate Goku, aka Teen Gohan Fighter, is speaking purely in hyperbole. He's only playing a persona of that classic YouTube ranter that the internet knows him by. So do not take any rough or insulting thing he says to heart because it's only <laughs> satirically. I know by saying this and breaking the fourth wall right now could kill any value of the persona in the first place, but I'd rather do that than have some fans who didn't get the joke end up very offended. Okay, we good? I guess so. Back but to the program. We know we all know who it is. Cyborg, also known Death as Death Battle Stone. Screw Attack. Cyborg is a superhero who is half man and half machine. His body was destroyed in a tragic accident. By the way, I will get to that newest death battle fight sometime soon too. His I haven't watched it yet, but I will watch it when I can. High-tech gadgets and weaponry while constantly providing him with life support. Cyborg possesses cybernetic enhancements that provide superhuman strength, endurance, and durability. Speaking of Cyborg, ah, uh, put him against Krillin. That would be okay. Well, He'll still lose. That's a good character. <laughs> was in the original Teen Titans 2003 series and not to be mistaken with that new team titans go garbage I'm yeah that is piece of shit garbage show epicness of the original team titans you all know what i mean i hear you loud and clear man up next is batman 
Batman is the protector of Gotham City. Bruce Wayne swore an oath to rid his city of the evil that had taken his parents' lives. Although he has no superhuman powers, he is one of the world's smartest men and greatest fighters. Some of his abilities include peak human strength, reflexes, endurance, and peak agility. He is so strong that he can bench press a thousand pounds, mastered all forms of martial arts, and has an assortment of tech and armor at his disposal. Batman yeah. is the most underrated and underappreciated. I like. I honestly like that meme right there with ever. the laughing at amazing. Peter Parker. I'm tired of seeing these new comic book fans taking Batman for granted that he can only win with prep time and all this stuff. You know. Doesn't just need to win with prep time. He can actually win against the Z Warrior, though. Batman has done. It's going to be very tough he, for him if he's Batman fighting a Saiyan wise or Piccolo. If he's just we'll fighting maybe Yamcha, Krillin, or Tien, they're ever. going to give him one hell of a exact fight. But, uh, keep but just a keep. If a key blast lands on him, he's Lantern. done. Hal Jordan is the most well-known Green Lantern. He was the first human <clears throat> ever introduced into the Green Lantern Corps and has been heralded as possibly the greatest Green Lantern of all time. His ring gives him the ability to project energy, blast pellets, create force fields, form weapons, phase through objects, turn invisible, and fly. Forget Jordan. John Stewart is the greatest Green Lantern of all time. <laughs> Up next is The Flash. Barry Allen, also known as The Flash, is the fastest man alive. Barry Allen is the very source and creator of the Speed Force, and he generates it with every step he takes. Flash yep. can time travel with his connection to the Speed Force. He can also steal other speeds, which could potentially always keep him one step ahead of the game. Next up is Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was the first child born on Paradise Island. Diana has the strength of planet Earth granted by Demeter. Her signature weapon is the Lasso of Truth. It cannot be broken, snapped, or cut, and forces others to yeah. never tell a lie. Diana's superhuman reflexes enable her to use wrist gauntlets to easily deflect projectiles. And last but not least, we have Martian Manhunter. John Jones is one yeah, of the Martian Manhunter, Flash, and Superman are probably going to be the hard hitters in the lo longest lasted the fi League fighters on family. the Justice the League against Manhunter the Z Warriors. Has shape shifting and mind reading abilities that stem from complete control of his molecular structure. Oh he shit! He will be freaked out if he reads uh, Beerus's mind because Beerus will be thoughts. pissed that he's being his mind's being read. And once he finds out who got who Beerus is. The He's gonna freak. Members include Superman, Flash, and Martian Manhunter. What did I just Our say? I counted down their strongest. Is everyone's favorite monkey, Goku. Goku yep. is one of the last Saiyans around, and it's his job to protect the universe from evil threats such as Frieza. Goku can transform into many different forms, from Super Saiyan all the way to Super Saiyan Blue. In a Super Saiyan Blue form, he is strong enough to shake the entire universe, and with his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, he can move faster than frozen time. Goku is the hope <laughs> of the universe. He is ally to good, nightmare to you. Super Tards, aka DC Tards, we all know, let's face it, Goku is a true superhero. And anyone, by the way, who thinks Goku is not a superhero is a biased fool. Because I pretty much proved that on my own YouTube video. Goku is the best all time. That being, of course, my boy Goku. Up next is <laughs> Prince Vegeta is the prince of the fallen Saiyan race and arch rival slash frenemy to Goku. Vegeta is one of the most powerful characters in the series, his yep. power often rivaling that of Goku himself. After training with Whis, Vegeta gained the ability to use the power of a god with Super Saiyan, allowing Vegeta to become a Super Saiyan god Super Saiyan. Speaking of Vegeta animation rewind, I actually got to voice Vegeta in Vegeta vs. Thor for your own card. I remember fight, that. Uh, you actually commented on my video, Team Next Gohan up, Fighter. We have Goku's son, Gohan. Gohan is a Saiyan hybrid. At first glance, you would think that being What version of Gohan are we using? Are we using the Super thing, Gohan? Considering his other half is human. But in actuality, are we using like gives Gohan a supreme advantage when it comes to his overall potential and energy efficiency. Gohan has trained many years with Piccolo, making him a highly skilled warrior. Oh, that thing right next there. Member is the only full human on the team, Krillin. 
but don't let Krillin being a human discourage you from thinking he is Oh, Krillin's powerful. fucking badass. Everyone jokes, but he's true. actually Krillin badass. Has been training with Tien and the legendary Almighty Yamcha for many years. <laughs> Almighty Yamcha. Warriors, such as Yamcha. In fact, Yamcha is so strong we couldn't put him on this team in order to have a fair fight. Krillin <laughs> is easily the best bald anime hero of all time. If you know any other bald anime, <laughs> just know that they are <laughs> losers. And Krillin is oh, better wow. than that because I mean, let's face it, Krillin has a destructo disc, and he's an Earthling, guys. He's an Earthling. Let's keep that in mind. Okay. Our next member is probably debatable on if he should even be considered a Z fighter, but when push comes to shove, he will come and play. I'm talking about the God of Destruction. He would. Beerus. I, I, I don't think he'll ever actually side a fight seven, with them. Beerus he hasn't the yet. Of God of He's more neutral. Destroy he'll just destroy what he thinks is a enjoys. threat. He loves eating food, specifically bulbous cookies. Although, that right there, they could probably get him to fight for a certain dish. God Key protects him from normal mortal key, magic, and the vacuum of space. Beerus is able to combat and react to massively faster than light speeds and has a multitude of fighting techniques that he's learned while training with Whis. He is feared by the Kais, the Supreme Kai, Frieza, King Vegeta, Vegeta... And even the almighty Shenron of the Dragon Balls. <laughs> Moving on, we have Piccolo. Piccolo is easily oh, one yeah. of the most powerful Namekian fighters currently alive. He's also a member of the Dragon Clan and possesses many plant-like properties. Piccolo's natural abilities are congruent to that of mind-based powers. As a Namekian, Piccolo's rapid healing powers and regeneration capabilities make a great tactic for surviving many battles. This allows him to regenerate any lost limb or damaged body part within moments. Piccolo is one of the most underrated characters in Piccolo's fucking the series. badass. This guy definitely needs more He respect needs to have a moment in more. the upcoming last, survival but arc. But not least is Vegeta's son Trunks. Like Gohan, Trunks is also a Saiyan hybrid. Trunks is most known for his time traveling adventures as Future Trunks. The most oh, powerful yeah. aspect of Future Trunks is his Super Saiyan Rage form. While yes, in Super that Saiyan is... Rage, Trunks was on par with Future Zamasu, which through scaling can place him at a universal threat. Overall, Team Z Fighter. Well, no, he wasn't on scale. He was weakened by Vegito. He was tired. In a sense, he was still not at his peak with. level. Now, so Trunks had a chance. That's how I see fight. it still. But that's my aspect of it. I still think that ending should have been way more, like, way better. Should have been at least three more episodes. The fight with Vegito and Zumasa should have been a full episode. Then there should have been a struggle. Then there should have been a moment for Trunks. Or two episodes. I just want a full episode of Vegito. Uh, Vegito. Well, I just wanted a full episode of Vegito, I know. <gasps> If you keep up this silly attitude, you won't live long. Nice. Free oh fuck! Okay. Darn it all! Beware my power. Three lanterns light. I won't let you get away with this. Oh, you come on, Gohan. Me. Yeah. Surrender. Sucks to be you. No, that won't work. Oh, come on, Gohan. You're up class here. What's wrong? Not done yet. For the core. Light okay. Up. No. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you done fucked up. And that, whenever it's those moments, you, you know you fucked up. Okay. Me, baby. So Gohan wins. Green Lantern down. Oh, I called it! Krillin versus fucking... Batman. Okay. Okay then. Don't hold back on me. Krillin might have some difficulties anything. because Batman's variety of skill. Oh, but pure strength-wise, even if Batman blocked a punch or something, he, he, yeah, he would fucking his bones would break. You're gonna need backup. I'm oh, more shit. than enough to finish you by myself. 
too fast for you? Nope. <laughs> That's the speed force. You can still quit, you know. How are you going to stop a blast? Especially a fucking Big Bang. This is the power of a true Super Saiyan. Be gone now to finish taking out the trash. Oh, shit. Oh, you'd be being pushed back. But nope, he gets vaporized. Oh, fuck yeah. Doesn't even need to go Super Saiyan Blue. Oh, I'm sorry, Wonder Woman. You're gonna get fucked up. I'm the one who wants to go home and sleep. Athena died me. Okay, this time I will have my pudding. Oh, just flicking her around. Oh, this is so dull. Missing some marbles. Bye, Wonder Woman. Not even a problem. That's three wins so far. Three, three Justice League members down. Piccolo versus Man Marsh, Martian Manhunter, or Martian. knew it. Will you not listen to reason? Your ego betrays you. This to me Get would off. be an actually really close fight right here. Because Mar Martian Manhunter is going to be very tough for Piccolo. Piccolo's only like this Super Saiyan well 2 me. level. Your anger is misplaced. Or perfect cell, I would say. At the end of Z, it's still kind of in Dragon Ball Super. Well, no, he's actually improved still. Sorry, buddy. No, but yeah, he's probably improved won. a lot more. He was able to take on uh, Frost. This is the end of the line for you. I will defend. Which was able to handle Goku Super Saiyan, which is a lot more powerful than Perfect Cell. So. Oh, fuck. If he gets that special beam cannon on him, he's done. Oh. Damn. Mess with the best. Cyborg, you're gonna get fucked up by Trunks. Come on! Let's fight! Damn, not even not even more than not even more than five seconds and Cyborg got cut in half. And obliterated. God damn Trunks. Oh man, I think I overdid it. Yeah, that just a little amazing. he probably didn't even go Super round. Saiyan. <laughs> no, well actually he didn't even go Super Saiyan Rage. <clears throat> wow, you really beat me good. Kneel before me. Have I and I'll say this now. Know? Yes, this is this is the version of New Fifty Two. But <laughs> this could be bad. Come at me and don't hold back. Super Saiyan Blue. Or is it already super? Oh no, just Super Saiyan God. Oh wow, okay. I pity you. <laughs> Boot to the face. Oh, that knee. This is my world. I will have order. Charge. Everyone has been destroyed because of this freak. I won't allow it. Very important. Oh. Rare genius in that. Oh, Beerus. Oh, I'm sorry, Superman. You're dead. Although he's I'll next to the sun. Apart. If you don't give up your evil ways, I'll be here to stop you. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Pierce not giving a fuck. Great big smile. I won't let you get away. Superman, you are done. Yeah. Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Beerus. The only thing that would truly make this a stomp is fucking the Oh, I called it! Oh my god! 
Oh, oh, oh! I thought Varus honestly, when he popped in, I thought he was just going to erase him. Oh yeah, yes! <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, motherfuckers! If you want to see more seriously produced total wars just like this one, please share this video, spread the word. About oh, I'm sharing the fuck out of this. The I'm going to get a couple other. I, I am definitely going to have to have a lot of people check this out. If the demand for them is present within the community. First, I need to make it very clear that the animation you just saw was not a simulation. It wasn't designed to simulate how the fight would happen 100%. So if you saw something that didn't exactly add up during the animation, just know that the animation was purely eye candy. And our winner is <laughs> Team Z Fighters. Now, it's just the fact that why, Z, the I'd Z like Warriors were going to win. Special thanks to the animator, DZ Browder, and our co host, the SS Ultimate Goku. If you enjoyed what you saw, please head on over to these channels and subscribe. Yes, it was an honor to be a part of this episode. If you are interested in more amazing content feel free to check out my channel that would be something definitely check it out in the description of the original video link for that video is the, the one that we're watching right now in the description of my video is to remind everyone that one this was the new 52 JLA and two Superman or anyone on the JLA does not have infinite power so true Superman is not Infident. There are clearly sources, as seen in the official Superman scan, there are many times where Superman has stated he has limits. Anyone who thinks Superman is infident has an infinite hole in their empty brain cells of infinite emptiness. To give this more context, Superman is powered <laughs> by yellow and blue stars. So while the potential to recharge his power may seem endless as long as light is available, he would always have a defined finite value within his body, no matter how large or small that value is. And that overall yeah. value also has a peak, as shown the many times Superman has been beaten after that peak was surpassed. And right now, I'll give you the short version of why Infinite Superman doesn't Damn. make any sense but be sure to Dark side watch slapping him around. Episode 30 if you want an extended explanation as to why Infinite Superman That was a really good episode. Up. Definitely check it out. Short, Superman lifting the book of infinite pages isn't an infinite strength feat as the book was stated to have a clear ending and final chapter, which also means the feat must be shared with Shazam. Plus they never lifted the book to begin with. They both tried and failed. The book starts off floating regardless, and they couldn't move its floating position. Spectre is made of eternity, yeah. which is a measurement of time, not weight. Plus, Green Lantern lifted Spectre all on his own, and Green Lantern nowhere near has infinite strength. And Superman needed help from Wonder Woman and others to get that job done. And <laughs> most importantly, Superman was given an opportunity to face yeah, Darkseid. Yeah, exactly. At a and Take he that lost boomstick. With the anti life equation. Superman's peak was less than Darkseid's peak, and Darkseid clearly doesn't have an infinite peak. And the trump card in all of this is that this battle only stuck with New 52, which means <clears throat> even if those feats did hold weight, it wouldn't even matter since those are all totally different incarnations. Enough talking exactly. about why Superman is weak, Animation Rewind. We know that loser is weak. I say we start <laughs> focusing on why Goku, Vegeta, and Beerus are so amazing and powerful. Great suggestion. Multiple members of the Z Fighters have universal levels of power from Goku, Vegeta, Beerus, and Super Saiyan Rage Trunks. The new 52 Justice League has zero characters with any strong standing universal level feats. Sure, other versions of the DCU have universal heroes, say pre-crisis and some select incarnations within post-crisis, but specifically new 52 does not have any solid yeah. universal level feats for the JLA. Because of this, the Justice League have no real way of taking on someone like Beerus, who is clearly a multiversal threat. Right. Plus exactly. Form trained so hard in the hyperbolic time chamber that the entire realm busted. 
thanks to Saiyan Beyond God form, his base form busted an entire realm. Tack on some Saiyan multipliers and even a Super Saiyan Blue fusion between Vegeta and Goku. A full Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Goku. Are God, that fight was amazing, but short. That's exactly how. Vegeta oh, I love the final flash command, man, too. And even then, Beerus to this day is still far more powerful than both Goku and Vegeta. The math yep. is simple here: 50 times 50. Considering we go all the way to Super Saiyan Blue. Thanks to scaling from Vegeta, Beerus would easily become even a multiversal threat, let alone a universal. And then we can't forget that even Trunks has a Super Saiyan Rage form, which would also put him at a universal level of power. Now, the hardest task for the Z Fighters would really only be catching the Flash in plain sight. But even then, catching the Flash is something entirely possible, as Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kaioken, that is a mouthful, allows him yes, it is faster than time. Time also, itself. Flash can easily well, no, in a sense, it is like that, but at the mistakes. same time, it helps so with Goku's isn't enough in a skill like in fighting and to predict. Goku does catch him, it's pretty much over at that point. Flash would be very, yeah, very, it's very thanks to two to catch, things. Yes, he is very fast in that state, but it's also Goku's speed. talent when it comes to, to predict uh, a fighter's or even movements. His own it's not even a contest. So Flash has no it's a mixture of, of both skill Beerus, and power. And where would Flash even run if Beerus destroys the whole universe that Flash lives in? <laughs> yeah. We also can't forget that Martian Manhunter is <laughs> going to give the Z Fighters some trouble, but really the only members he could take on is those with normal key. He would have a very difficult time trying to mind manipulate someone who is powered by God Key, and eventually New 52 Martian Manhunter doesn't have any feats to compete with Beerus. Yeah. The best argument that could be made for the New 52 JLA would be that the Flash could easily run back in time to kill the Z Fighters before they were even born. This could be an option, but it becomes real tricky since the time traveling future Trunks also has access to do the exact same thing. So once Trunks' time traveling uh, access cancels out Flash's time Yeah, that could be an argument. That argument really does become nullified as it cancels out. Once Flash is out, the fight becomes crystal clear, making the But not this entirely. Year, he needs Z a machine. Fighters. Now looking and back he at needs the to have Punch fuel for it, Hulk so episode, that's a little I iffy even that to that me. Video only had 3, likes to climb Comics versus... The comic versus manga hyper oh so god. Why don't we combine the likes of that video and this one? If you want to see a hyper war from a team of iconic and top tier comic heroes take on a team of iconic and top tier manga heroes, all you gotta do is like this video. There's only 17,000 likes left to go to reach that, so you know what to do if you want to see it. Like this video. Definitely also, go do it, guys. Comment down your own ideas for future episodes. And Let's get that fight. Because the next fighters are going to be revealed. All right, who's next? On the next episode of Cartoon Toon Fight, fight Club. Club. Oh shit! Bringing in some classic! Holy shit! Well, when you put it like that, I guess I don't have any other choice. Just remember, you asked for it. Versus Goku? Goku, I'm sorry. Like, I was interested. But Goku all the way. <laughs> Again. Uh, that was awesome. Holy fuck. What you guys think of the fight? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, that was awesome, guys. Uh, don't forget to check out um, Animation Rewind's Patreon. Anything you guys can do to help, a little goes a long way. And thank you again, Animation Rewind, for putting me in the special thanks. And good job, Team Gohan Fighter. Um, yeah, that was actually pretty funny as you as the co-host. <laughs> um, overall, fantastic. Can't I can't deny I enjoyed the fuck out of it because yes, my team won and it's a DBZ fight. But I will have to say, 
it is very clear. If you didn't make it to this part and you're just raging in the comments, well, that's your own fault for not watching until the end. Um, <clears throat> I, th I think everything they chose information-wise to explain why and how, and also the version of the uh, Justice League they use, really does measure up to uh, how this ended. So, if you enjoyed my reaction, let me know by punching that like button. And I will get to other videos soon. So look out for more, possibly one more after this one later on. Or uh, before this, depends on which I edit. And look out for that. Um, until next time, guys. Later. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you want more, check out the description below. Hope to see you guys in a later video. Also, have an awesome day.